You're listening to SACON Talks with SACON Simbla. Hello, 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 everybody. Hi, my name is SACON Simbla, and welcome to SACON Talks. Thanks again for checking out this podcast, stopping by to see what I have to say. I just want to uh, start off by letting you know that this episode is brought to you by my YouTube page. So please go over, visit, and subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash Saycon Talks. That's S A Y C O N T A L K S. Please visit Saycon Talks on YouTube. Check out my videos, check out my vlogs. A lot of new and fun stuff is going to be coming up over the next couple of months. And um, I'm really just excited to share all of this with you. So, again, please visit YouTube and uh, check out the Saycon Talks YouTube page. And please, please feel free to subscribe and share and tell your friends about it. Um, This episode I want to use as an introductory version of uh, the podcast. I just want to just give you a little bit about myself. You know, I'm going to be doing some little surveys to find out how people have heard about me. I'm an actress. I've been acting for a long time. I've been in the business for over 20 years and um, I'm not famous. So... (laughs) So being that I'm not famous, but I am a working, qualified actress, I am curious about what brought you to Saycon Talks. So um, if if, um, you didn't come because you were already a fan of my work, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. My mom is American, and my dad was from uh, Liberia, West Africa. And... uh, So I always grew up having a great appreciation for many cultures. Um, I'm a Southern girl at heart. I love um, grits, but I also love okra soup, which is a a dish that uh, is a very popular dish that Liberians eat. Um, I've been um, acting, like I said, for about 20 years, and um, I moved from Atlanta, um, man, I want to say about 13, 14 years ago, um, I ended up moving to New York City, and I made New York my home, although I travel off and on for different jobs, um, working as an actress, sometimes I find myself traveling to go and sing places, I find myself traveling uh, to shoot film, television. And um, that's been very exciting. Uh, But I do make New York my home currently, anyway. Who knows what the future holds. But um, um, what else can I tell you about myself? I I also am a singer. Um, Many people know me from doing musical theater. I um, was in numerous uh, original plays on Broadway, off Broadway. And um, there's a small group of people, I would say, that actually, like, look out and wait to see when I'm going to be doing shows. I get emails and inboxes a lot from people who want to know what I'm doing next. And um, as I'm taping this particular episode, uh, what's next on the horizon is, as far as uh, theater goes, is The Secret Life of Bees, which is a very popular um, book that was made into a movie that will now be made into a musical and I'll be doing that um, in the spring of 2019 um, and also in April of 2019 um, my television show In the Dark will be airing on the CW network so I've got a lot of cool things happening um, as far as my acting goes I started as a child actor I like to say a child I mean, you know, people could argue with me about whether I was really a child or not, but uh, I did my first play when I was 13, um, and 
and uh, continued to do shows and, and went to a performing arts high school and you know was just surrounded by so many talented people, so much art, visual artists, singers, rappers, dancers, just fly, fly people doing their thing and getting it in. And um, I would say that history of mine has shaped me to be who I am. It's definitely put a big, um, just, it's been a big motivation for me um, as, a, as a person, as a human being, just, just being able to speak in front of people. Um, because believe it or not, I'm, I'm sort of this weird combination of like, I'm extroverted, but I'm also quite introverted at the same time. So, so having the confidence to speak in front of people has been great, although I can get really nervous and shy when I'm at parties or social events. Um, I uh, live in the Bronx right now. Um, I've lived in um, Brooklyn. I've lived in Upper Manhattan in Harlem. And I will say that a good majority of my time that I've spent in New York was in Harlem. Um, And uh, I really uh, love New York. I've grown to love New York in a way that I didn't think I would when I first got here. The first time I came to New York, I came um, as a standby um, in the Broadway show, Aida, uh, better known as Elton John and Tim Rice's Aida. Uh, I had toured with that show previously and I came during what had to be like, I mean, up until now, because it's been freezing lately, but at that time it had to be historically one of the coldest winters ever in New York and I had never seen that much snow in my life. Um, so I came to New York around that time. Uh, you know, over the over the course of this year as I'm doing this podcast, you'll hear more stories <laughs> about other shows that I've done. But my very first show in New York was Aida. Um, growing up in Atlanta, previously I was in a, a theater group called the Freddie Hendricks Youth Ensemble of Atlanta also known as YEA. Some people know it now as the Youth Ensemble of Atlanta. And uh, I just really got my chops as an actress and as a singer working um, under Freddie Hendricks and and working with all these really great and talented actors. We sang, we danced, we wrote our own music. We were really encouraged to explore and think for ourselves and Again, that's made a really big impact on who I am. Um, And uh, a lot of the topics that we dealt with in those shows had very serious undertones. We did a show about Soweto, um, South Africa. We did, um, uh, that particular show dealt with the the student riots um, and protests that went on in 1976 um, when the kids were just really refusing to deal with apartheid. We did a show called Times that dealt with um, HIV and AIDS. Um, Did another show, uh, Schoolhouse Rocks, that dealt with child abuse, sexual assault. Um, So I've been, for a very long time since I was a teenager, dealing with really serious issues. Just always had a lot of serious stuff on my mind. Always been real bookish. Um, although I'm all over the place, you know, with social media and auditions, I have the hardest time finishing books nowadays, but, um, I've always loved books. I've always loved reading. Um, right now I cannot front. I love, love YouTube. YouTube is a gift to me. I'm a super fan of several bloggers. Um, I have to shout out a few of them if any of them are checking me out right now. Um, Cause I, I did not dodge uh, the bullet of the the podcast bug. Um, a lot of people are doing podcasts now. It's it's like the thing, you know. Everybody's telling you do a podcast, do a podcast. You know, anybody who's watching Gary Vee or any of the other motivators are like, do a podcast, do a podcast. And let me tell you, I've always wanted to do a podcast, even before it was hot. I wanted to do a podcast, and I just never took the time to do it. I guess the time is now. I want to shout out some of my favorite bloggers that I watch. Just, I'm going to shout them out right now just for the culture of anybody who likes to listen and, and watch and comment. Um, 
for is Rox, Miss Roxanne. I've never met her in real life, but I like a lot of her uh, videos. I watch her videos. I comment um, at home with Nikki. Um, I love her videos. Um, well, okay, for it's Rox does. She does like top of the blogs and she does video reviews on shows. Um, at home with Nikki, she does uh, videos on you know how to improve your home and organize. There's Lovely T, who's a bit of a gossip blogger, and she also does a news show. Um, there's Tony Gaskins, who's a, a, a relationship and lifestyle coach. Um, and there's numerous others. Uh, oh, The Grapevine, which features um, um, African-American, African, and Caribbean, um, you know, millennials, and I guess, I guess Gen X commentators sitting around talking and pontificating. So, um... I've always had a love for those types of things. I love talk shows. I probably watch, it's funny because I'm an actress, but I watch probably more talk shows um, than I do uh, television shows. I watch movies and talk shows. So that's just like a little bit about me and what drew me to the desire to do this. It definitely wasn't just because it's hot. It's because I'm just, I have a lot to say. And, you know, social media, you know, Twitter, Instagram, you know, some of those forums, I feel like they never give me enough space and, you know, time to really just describe how I feel. And then, you know, my shy side makes it so that sometimes I just don't even feel like um, being on there. So like if I make a comment about something and people are ready to go back and forth about it or want to hear more information more than like, what is it, 140 characters you get on on Twitter, I, it may be more. Somebody let me know if it's more. But, you know, the part of me that's like, it's not enough, makes me feel like it's not even worth it. So now that, you know, um, I've decided to, to delve or dive into the podcast realm, I'm just going to go ahead and rock and roll with it and, and talk about some things that are on my mind. I'm really excited to do that, especially, you know, being an actress. For the most part, we are trained and hired to show up do our lines, wear the costumes provided, look the way they want us to look, and not have an opinion about anything. Um, unless you're a really big star, then, you know, you, there's more, a little bit more of a collaborative effort. But hey, this Saquon Talks is mine. <laughs> I'm rubbing my hands together, y'all, like an like a evil mustache twirling villain. It's mine, all mine, so I get to talk about what I want to talk about, when I want to talk about it, and how I want to talk about it. Some of these um, podcasts might be uh, uh, 18 and up. I cannot promise you that this is going to be for the kids. I know Broadway is going to bring, it might bring some interest in some kids. I don't know. Um, right now, I'm, I'm keeping it real clean, straight up. I curse like a sailor. I don't know how I've kept it clean as long as I have for this message that I'm doing right now. But, um, man, I, I have a lot of things on my mind that I want to talk about, some having to do with um, acting, some having to do with singing, and a lot having to do with just lifestyle, other things that I want to talk about that, you know, nobody ever particularly calls me up to ask me about. People want to know about singing, they want to know about what show I'm in, but, you know, they don't necessarily want to know what kind of tea I drank this morning, and (laughs) I am fascinated by tea and how it makes you feel, so... If you're a tea drinker and you like to talk about tea or, you know, if you're into uh, natural foods and you're exploring the realms of natural eating and healing and wellness, if you're into, um, you know, as a black woman exploring natural hair, um, just the idea of that in a world where long, long extensions, straight, silky, shiny hair is supposed to be supreme, then those are things that I want to talk about, because that's the type of stuff that me and my friends talk about, and it's some of the stuff that's on my mind, so, um, man, uh, I'll be exploring, I'll probably talk, I might talk a little bit about relationships, I've been very coy, I don't really talk about my own relationships on social media, but you might hear a little bit on the Saquon Talks podcast, you know, for those of you who are wondering about my my uh, dating life, you know, I'm going to talk about me, you know, just things that are on my mind, and um, I'll probably also t- 
talk about, uh, you know, a little pop culture, you know, a little behind the scenes. And boy, oh boy, do I have plenty of anecdotes for my escapades on various uh, shows and gigs that I've been on. I mean, uh, I've been in the entertainment business for a long time, and I've had an opportunity to do everything from speaking at schools to singing at weddings to kissing on the president on Scandal. (laughs) Shout out to Tony Goldwyn. Um, Some of you may know me from the sixth season of Scandal. Um, And um, so, yeah. So, yeah. You here with me? Are you here? Are y'all here? Give me some claps. I know there's... Anybody who's, who's uh, listening to me through this Anchor app, you know, some claps, clap it up if you're feeling it, um, like it, share it, tell other people about it, and if you think it's something you might be interested in listening to some more, just stay tuned, because I have a lot more to, to share and talk about. Um, please visit my Instagram page, the Saquon Talks Instagram page, I'm really tailoring it for, to the culture of my show, the co- okay, I'm tailoring it. I'm tailoring, oh, I'm tongue-tied. I am tailoring it to the culture of my show, the culture of Saquon Talks, which may not have anything to do with acting. So if you are not interested in hearing things, you know, above and beyond acting, then turn me off right now. You know, this this podcast is not necessarily going to be full of, you know, things about acting, you know, because I... I don't always get to talk about some of the things I want to talk about. So that's what I'm going to talk about here. Um, I want you to visit the Instagram. It's going to be the complimentary sort of, you know, biscuit to your tea. If the tea is the podcast and the biscuit is the Instagram, you get to go and see the visuals, you know, parties that I went to this week and what I thought about it, outfits I may have had on and or some random juice I made just because I felt like it was going to make me feel good because I'm all about healing and wellness so please visit uh, the Saquon Talks Instagram page please visit my other Instagram page Vintage Pop Soul because I am an old soul and um, please visit uh, me on Facebook it's my name Saquon Simbla on Facebook uh, it'll be Saquon.Simbla. And uh, on Twitter as well, Saquon Simbla. And I'm going to spell my name for you guys because it's very unique. S-A-Y-C-O-N. My last name is S-E-N-G-B-L-O-H. You might hear me spell that thing a couple of times because, it, you know, it takes people on the spin from time to time. So um, if you have any questions or any topics that you want to hear me discuss... Or any things you've just been dying to know about me. Um, This little known actress um, (laughs) messaging you. Perhaps while she's on her way to the uh, studio to record in Brooklyn (laughs) tomorrow. Or the next day where I I do uh, do a lot of recording. Random recording. voiceover, uh, music, all sorts of things. So I find myself in Brooklyn quite a lot. Um and in Manhattan. If you have any questions for me um, while I'm on my way or while I'm, you know, bouncing around for from audition to audition for pilot season or for movies and features and Broadway shows, then please, by all means, jump in and ask me a question. Let me know how you feel. Let me know what's on your mind. And um, that's pretty much it for, for this episode. Um, I want to do a little bit of experiment, so some people who, if you're into ASMR, there may be a little ASMR coming your way, maybe even a podcast mukbang, if you don't know what it is, look it up, figure it out, find out, if you do, I'm your girl, um, I'll be giving you guys some sounds that are pleasant and pleasing to the ear, and some topics that might um, be really uh, enjoyable for you, um, I'm pretty laid back today, I, I think. Um, but some days I might get, I don't know, I might get a little loud, y'all. I just might get a little loud. If y'all, you ain't gonna be mad at me if I get loud. I mean, don't be mad. Don't be mad. I just might get loud sometimes. <laughs> um, but y'all enjoy, y'all enjoying the quiet version today, right? So, I 
hope you're having a great day wherever you are or a great night, a great evening, um, wherever you are in the world. Uh, if you are in New York, if you're on the, the East Coast, the West Coast, in the U.S., if you are in Africa, the motherland, my other favorite place, somewhere in Europe, um, Australia, Antarctica, Asia, wherever you may be. May you be blessed and well. And thank you for listening to Saquon Talks. Again, this episode was brought to you by YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> this episode was brought to you by YouTube.com forward slash Saquon Talks. So visit my YouTube page, subscribe, and look out for a lot more uh, videos, content, and um, podcast materials from me. So take care, everybody, and be blessed. I'm Saquon.